star has been dragged into some drama this week over his bloodlust palette. It all started when someone posted an image on Reddit to beauty guru Chatter comparing the carton that Jeffree's bloodlust palette came in to packaging for Lorac's winter 2014 royal collection. The post says, Hypocrite Jeffree Star stole bloodlust from Lorac's 2014 winter collection, The Royal. Jeffree Star has been quick to accuse other brands of stealing their ideas. However, it appears his royalty-themed bloodlust collection was in fact stolen from Lorac's 2014 winter collection, The Royal. Bloodlust has the same unusual hexagonal box, decorative artwork, and velour covering as the royal. In his second makeup series with Star, Shane Dawson was shown in Jeffrey's office looking through palettes for inspiration. One of these was Lorac's The Royal, proving Jeffrey Star had knowledge of the collection before he decided to rip it off. So let's go through this post and talk about everything going on from both sides of the argument. Lorac's packaging came out in 2014, a part of their holiday collection. The packaging isn't for a palette, but rather a face collection that just had a bunch of different products inside, whereas Jeffrey's packaging was for an actual eyeshadow palette. The first thing this post compares is how both palettes are shaped like a hexagon, although I don't think that matters much as hexagon shaped packaging isn't really that uncommon. Sephora, Icing Cosmetics, Huda Beauty, and Fenty Beauty have all used this shape in the past. The next point that this post makes is about the artwork on the front of both boxes. As you can clearly see, there definitely are some similarities between the packaging. They both have this really fancy border going around the front and the crown logo. If somebody looked at these two palettes without knowing Jeffree's brand, it would almost look like an exact copy. But if we look back at Jeffree's palettes in the past, most of them also have this fancy border. Blue Blood and Androgony both have nearly identical borders on the palette, so I don't think this is anything really new for his brand. In Jeffree and Shane's series last year, in the video titled The Ugly Side of the Beauty Community, a big part of the video was footage of Shane picking the packaging for his palette. In one clip, we see the girls working for Jeffree pull out a huge box of different palettes for Shane to get ideas on what kind of shape he wanted his palette to be. We briefly see Shane grab the Lorac palette that Jeffrey is now being accused of copying. Those are different shapes. The truth is, we don't know for sure if Jeffrey's seen this before, or if his assistant just brought it in that day to show Shane examples of packaging, which means unless Jeffrey speaks out about this, you can pretty much make of that clip what you will. We all know in the past, Jeffrey has been very vocal about calling out brands that rip off ideas from other smaller brands. A few years ago, Jeffrey called out Huda Beauty for copying Beauty Bakery, and he even called out Kylie Cosmetics for making packaging similar to his. Back in 2017, Jeffrey tweeted Kylie and said, I gotta know one thing. With all that money she's made, why did Kylie Cosmetics use the same packaging as my liquid lipsticks that have been out since 2014? Invest and make something different maybe? Which brings me to the question of where do we draw the line between copying and simply taking inspiration? I feel like in the beauty community especially, this has been a huge problem for a while now. This year alone, we've had Makeup Revolution being accused of making a highlighter that looks just like Manny MUA's and him getting really upset online about it. We've also had Huda Beauty being accused of copying Colourpop's pastel palette packaging, and now Jeffrey and Lorac. There's been a lot of conversation online about whether or not Jeffrey copied or took inspiration. Here's what people had to say. Here's my thing. The shape is common use. There is literally nothing else in common with the brand in question. Lettering is different, color, layout, etc. You're allowed to take inspiration from something, otherwise the makeup industry would be stagnant. Everything eventually gets recycled, or someone gets inspired by the past. It's just bound to happen. We all do it. I have a friend who designs packaging, and I showed him this. He he laughed. This type of packaging has been around for a long time. Jeffree Star didn't steal anything. This happened with the alien palette as well. Stop reaching for drama. On the other side of the argument, it seems like people are upset that Jeffree has a reputation for calling out brands for copying other brands, like we talked about earlier. One person tweeted, My issue is he took inspiration from the palette component from an existing box, but he dragged Kylie Cosmetics for the concealer component being similar to his. It's fine to be upset about it, but it isn't fair to then do the same thing years later like no one will remember.